In today's video I will turn borax into the element boron. First I weighed 95 grams of borax. And added around 400 milliliters of distilled water. Then I started heating the solution. In the meantime I measured 40 milliliters of 31% hydrochloric acid. After all the borax dissolved, I added the hydrochloric acid into the solution. What is happening here is that the borax, which is actually sodium tetraborate reacts with hydrochloric acid and water to form boric acid and sodium chloride. Since the boric acid has much lower solubility than the sodium chloride, in theory, if we cool the solution, the boric acid should crystallize out. However, after cooling, there were just a few small crystals present. So I did the math and found out that I need to add another 25 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. After I added the acid, something interesting happened. The addition of the hydrochloric acid caused almost all of the boric acid to precipitate out of the solution. Next I vacuum filtered the boric acid. and almost drowned my pump in the process. Next I removed some of the boric acid into a dish. and filtered the rest of the solution, making sure not to drown my pump again. After the filtering was complete I added the boric acid to the rest. Next I added the boric acid to a steel can and started heating it. The boric acid decomposes to form water which evaporates and boron oxide which stays at the bottom of the can. After that, I was left with this glass-like material. So I broke it into small pieces. Which left me with these boron oxide shards. Next I crushed the boron oxide into a fine sand. After that, I mixed the boron oxide sand with a 5 grams excess of magnesium. Next I took the steel can from the previous reaction and filled it with the boron oxide magnesium mix. 
Afterwards I put few magnesium shavings into the mix and lit them. This didn't work. So I just heated the can until something happened. The boron oxide reacts with magnesium metal to form boron and magnesium oxide. After the reaction has cooled down, I collected the slag. Next I dissolved the magnesium oxide in hydrochloric acid. This reaction was quite violent, because I didn't let the slag cool down enough, and nearly resulted in my beaker overflowing. After that, I added water to help dissolve the impurities and let it sit for a while. After about 30 minutes I decanted the water and washed it one more time with more water. Then, I dried it on a hot plate. After the drying was done I weighed the boron. Which came around 34 grams, which would represent 316% yield, which means that it's still mostly slag, I however, have no idea how to clean it better so I will have to leave it like this. Anyway this video was made based on a vote that received only 3 votes so I hope that next time, there will be more. That's all from me today so I hope you enjoyed and see you next time.